Even though a tornado has not been confirmed in Portage, one business owner is still digging out from substantial damage because of Wednesday night's storm. Rhonda Fox talked with him and kicks off our team coverage. If somebody says bad weather's in your area, bad weather can very well be in your area. The bend in the grass and damage to trailers at I-39 Supply is proof positive that strong winds passed through Portage. I got a phone call saying, I think a tornado came through, but what we are seeing it uh, surpassed my expectations. Peter Tan says he was stunned to see how strong winds flipped heavy trailers over like toy cars. Trailers are on top of trailers. They didn't drive on top of another trailer. They literally have just been physically relocated on top of themselves. The trailers here weigh anywhere between 1,800 pounds and 4,000 pounds. Tan also says some of his trailers were blown off his property. We also took uh, drone footage yesterday. So yesterday's footage shows us that some things moved more than a football field in length where other things still sat where they were or hardly moved at all. It's kind of unexpected after you know, a long drive to pick up my trailer. Customers like Ed say they're shocked at the damage and now understand why they have to wait a bit longer for their new addition. You know, it's got some damage so they need the uh, insurance fund on it. So I guess I'll go home without a trailer. These are just trailers. New ones are made every day. Tan says he hopes people who see his damage pay attention to weather alerts and realize the power of Mother Nature. When you see someone saying, hey, heads up, something bad could happen. Hey, heads up, something bad could happen. In Portage, Rhonda Fox, 27 News. Tan, the owner of I-39 Supply, says nearly 80 trailers were damaged or destroyed at his business. Each of those trailers cost between two and $15,000.